Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Today, we're going to make a white pizza. No meat, just veggies. So, hope you all enjoy it and uh, hope, you, hope you'll try it, you know. So, let me uh, get the camera turned around here and we'll show you what we got going on and we'll get to cooking. Alright y'all, just real, some real simple ingredients. We got a uh, pizza crust back here. We got some dried tomato or yeah, dried tomatoes, some mushrooms, and some frozen, frozen but thawed and drained spinach, and some Alfredo sauce. So uh, that's what that's all the ingredients basically is what all it is. But uh, let me get some stuff moved around there, and we'll get to cooking. Alright y'all, first thing we got to do is get our oven preheated and take it up to 425 and that is a pre-cooked uh, pizza shell so uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our spinach in a pot here and like I said this was frozen, I thawed it out, drained it really well and if you want to use fresh spinach, you can. But I like doing it this way because we're going to make a lot more of the sauce than what we actually need. But I'm going to use it for another recipe later on here in the week. And we may video that for you guys. But we may not. Don't know. So, all right. Got that out of there. I'm going to turn my heat on low, medium low. We just all we need to do is just to warm it up. So I'm gonna get that warming up, and then uh, we'll bring you back when it's ready. All right, y'all. I got that uh, spinach Alfredo mix uh, just warmed up just enough that it uh, that it. Uh, I'm trying to say here, flavors mingle. That's it. And I just take a. Nice thin coating of that with my spatula. That's a spoon spatula. Spread it all around. Now if you wanted you could stop right there and bake that just like that because I've done that before and it's really really good. But we're going to add the other mushrooms and the everything to it so get that out to the edges now so it looks all nice and pretty. And every bite has a little bit of it on it. And if I didn't say earlier, uh, I am baking this right on the rack. So there's that. Let's put back over there. Now I got some Italian mix, uh, Italian style shredded cheese. It's got uh, uh, mozzarella, provolone, uh, Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago cheese. So I'll put a little thin coating on there like that and for you meat lovers if you want to add some meat to this you can I prefer it this way uh, I have put ham and some bacon on here which you know is really good you can add artichoke hearts if you want those are really good on it too take our sun-dried tomatoes here sprinkle them out there and if I had some olives I'd black olives I'd probably put some black olives on here too but I've used them up the other day for something different I made a frozen pizza doctored up so alright what do you think I think that looks good well, take our mushrooms here and lay them on there. And these are not portobello mushrooms, these are just regular old white mushrooms. And 
get them on there. Trying to make it look pretty. Presentation. What do you think? Think that looks good, guys? I think it does. Put another one right there. How's that? Put a smaller one over here. How's that? Boop. Bonk. All right. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to take just a touch of Italian seasoning and sprinkle on that there. It's not coming out very well. There we go. All right. There's just a touch of that. And then I'm going to take just a little bit more of this cheese. It's kind of a binder. You know. I think it looks beautiful. Beautiful. Food don't look good, it's not gonna taste good, so at least most of the time. I have made some stuff that doesn't look very good, but man was it delicious. So alright, we got just a little bit more time on our oven there. When it gets hot, I will slide this thing in and we're gonna bake it for about 12 to 14 minutes. Probably about 13. And then we'll uh, get her out and we'll give her a taste test. All right, y'all, got that out of the oven. Doesn't it look delicious? Got our little pizza cutter here. Ooh, can you guys hear that crunch of that crust? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I love a good crusty, crunchy crust. That's why I like thin crust pizzas. So, oh yeah, I gotta cut this in here a little bit more. There we go. Oh, look at that, y'all. Oh, if you guys could smell that right now, whoo, man. All right, I'm gonna get that plated up. We'll do a little taste test. All right, y'all. Here it is. Got the pizza there, but first, got the beverage of the day. What goes better with pizza than beer? Root beer for me, you know. Mm. Like some good root beer. Now let's try this pizza here. Mmm. I'm gonna have another bite. Mmm. That's so good, I have another bite. Mm. Y'all, y'all gotta try that. That is delicious. I've made it lots of times before, but for some reason on camera it tastes a little bit better. Don't know why. Maybe it's just because, you know, trying to get you all to eat it so anyways super simple super easy real cheap ingredients so try it out hope you like it uh, appreciate you all stopping checking out what I'm cooking here in the kitchen don't forget to uh, hit that thumbs up like button if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button ring the bell get all the notifications everything I do here in the kitchen out in the garage at the tractor poles sometimes even some stuff up in my workshop off the clock of course you know I can do some stuff up there too so appreciate y'all stopping by oh don't forget Sunday night live streams can't forget that that's the best time of the week Sunday 7 p.m. Eastern time stop in we'll talk about everything talk about the small engine stuff talk about cooking 
talk about life in general. So, anyways, thank you all, and as always, bare appetit.